Hey guys, Top PG Tour Coach Eric Kaplan here. We're talking about Golf Anatomy 101, specifically what is the right knee or the trail knee doing the, in the backswing as well as set up um, that will maximize um, how you transfer energy. Because again, a big question is what does the right knee in the backswing? Does it stay flexed? Does it straighten? And again, if you're enjoying this video lesson program, if you want to be notified every single time that we drop another video lesson, uh, click the subscribe button below that we get a little ding every single time that Allie and I will drop another video program just like this. And of course, Allison TG, she is the founder of the Anatomical Absolutes in the Golf Swing. Um, and so Allie, thanks so much for being here. And again, we have a really special seven day program that if you do want to dive deeper with us, you get access to that program in the link the description below. It's called our seven day full swing boot camp. Um, I think you're really going to enjoy that, but let's Allison, um, let's talk about that right knee in the back swing because I know a lot of people might be confused regarding when it gets to the top of my back swing, do I want that left, the right knee rather to straighten on the way back? Should I keep it flexed? You know, what would be an optimal way for that right knee to move um, over the course of my back swing? Ideally, the right knee just stays where it was at address. You've got an eight to 13 degree bend. So the back of the knee joint from the side view, you want to drop that plumb line, the back of the knee, plumb line drops dead center over the ankle. So you've got knee joint in the back, plumb line drops dead center to the ankle and the heel, and that's how much knee flex. If you maintain that knee flexion, go to the top of your back, so you're gonna allow for hip rotation if you're rotating your hips, you're gonna yep. maximize the hip abductor firing at the top of the back swing and in the anatomical fundamentals, teaching people exactly how to feel that muscle to know without a shadow of a doubt whether it's on. To look for that feeling is also how we help amateurs control their uh, tempo. So most amateurs think about tempo as being about, oh, when I feel the club settle or something about their arms and hands all up in here, we actually flip that on its head and we yeah. begin to control tempo by that muscle turning on and firing. If you straighten that knee, it doesn't turn on. For sure. And, and that's you can also straighten it. And, yeah. Sorry. And what's interesting about that for a lot of golfers who struggle with tempo issues being quick in the back swing as well as inside takeaway, again, if they're looking at their hands or their arms or upper body, they might be looking at the wrong spot because if I go and bring the club exactly. back and that right knee straightens, one, you have more moving parts which will speed up your tempo, throw the club a little bit more inside. You could well, be leaning left now. 100%. And also, if the, lower, if the knee straightens, the lower body is going to over-rotate. The same way we talked about that would be advantageous in the downswing to get that left knee to straighten, to get the hips to clear, yeah. which we'll talk about a little bit more deeply in our program together. But if we don't get the adductor to fire, if we straighten that out, the club has to come more inside, which should force additional variables, which is creating more elevation. Not saying it's a bad thing. Yeah, it could, but there's, it could, it, it, very much. Sure, and, and that's where, again, just by empowering people to understand that there certainly is an optimal way to set up and to move in the, in the golf swing is a critical piece. That's what I'm really excited to work with you on is not just drop the, all these YouTube videos online to help people understand this is the what and the why. Yeah. Um, and that's where, again, if you're doing this video program, if you wanna go ahead and be notified every single time that we drop another piece of content, uh, click the subscribe button below, but also if you want to dive deeper with Allie and I to learn more about these anatomical absolutes and how you can rewire the brain, uh, click the link in the description below and you'll be taken to a really special customized seven-day program that is based upon how the brain is actually designed to relearn these motor patterns to not just create more power, but also prevent injury. And so in our next video, what we're going to be talking about, Allie, is the role of the right ankle in the golf swing. I know there's a lot of thought processes out there. Hey, do I want it? Not just you know, flared out or over the ankle, but this whole idea of neutral ankle and how that actually becomes what I would say is a body lock that prevents a sway in the back, which I think is super interesting. Yeah.